Hey everybody, Jason Say here with Field Days and let me begin by saying a big thank you to everybody out there for watching. This has been all spring related food plot topics. The first show we did a property tour, we did a couple frost seeding shows, a spring food plot show, and this is the last video in this series and this is going to be all about spring food plot maintenance, taking care of those food plots. And then we are going to have two more podcasts after this. So we have seven total podcasts five videos and I want to thank you all for following along and today's show is going to be all about spring food plot maintenance with those herbicides and mowing those food plots. Okay so you've either planted a new spring food plot or you actually have an existing perennial plot from years before and as I've mentioned before I'm actually with with these maintenance techniques of, of the herbicides and mowing and, and frost seeding as well I'm getting five even six years out of my perennial plot. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is spraying those food plots. But before we get into that, people will ask me all the time, they'll say, hey, do I need to spray my food plot? And the first thing I'll say, well, what does it look like? If you don't have any weeds or very little weeds in your food plot, then you most likely don't need to spray it with herbicides. You can simply control that with mowing. We'll talk about mowing a little bit later. But when you're gonna need to use the, the herbicides like Arrest Max for grasses, Slay for the broadleaf weeds, and Surefire Crop Oil, which is a surficant that's gonna help that stick. I can't stress it enough. Make sure you're using the Surefire Crop Oil. Um, you're gonna look at the plot. Do you, do you have grasses? Do you have broadleaf weeds? Then yeah, you're most likely gonna need to use those herbicides. So that's the first thing I say to people when they ask me if they should spray their food plots. Everybody's different, every plot's different. But I will say in the spring, probably about 85 to 90% of my food plots do require some herbicides of some, some extent to spray on those food plots. So now people ask me a lot of time, you know, when do they want to spray those food plots and all that kind of stuff. So when you want to spray your food plots in the spring is when your clover, chicory, whatever it is, is at least four inches tall. And you see those weeds getting to maybe, you know, five, six, seven inches you're gonna to wanna to spray it with the herbicides. And people ask this all the time. You've heard me talk about Arrest Max for the grasses, Slay for the broadleaf, and the Surefire Crop Oil. Yes, um, you can mix all three of those. I, in my own personal experience, have been mixing all three of those and spray all my, uh, my perennial plots, whether it's my Fusion Blend or my Imperial Clover, and it works perfect for all of them. So again, the Arrest Max, the Slay, you wanna watch that food plot, you don't wanna let those weeds get too tall. If they get out of control, they can take over. So you really wanna watch it early in the spring. And I'll tell you, it happens pretty quick. You might go in one week and it's in, there's barely anything there and you decide to check it you know, the next week and it's six inches tall, you know, it can grow fast. So you wanna keep your eye on it there early in the spring and catch it early and make sure you spray it. So now you've sprayed your food plot with, you know, maybe you just had grasses and you needed a rest max or maybe you needed both the rest max and the slay. You've sprayed it, now what do you do? So what I generally like to do is I wait 10 to 15 days. You will see <clears throat> the grasses and weeds in there actually just, they start dying. You wanna see them browning up. And then what I will do is I will go in and I will mow that food plot. And we're gonna talk more about mowing, but when you do first do that initial mowing after spraying, you, you don't wanna mow it too low to the ground. You wanna just kinda take the tops off and that's gonna take care of those weeds. And as you get more rain, that clover is gonna germinate and spread throughout the plot and it's gonna completely overtake the weeds. So again, as far as what you do next after you spray, you wait 10 to 15 days, see it brown up, and then go mow it. So now you've, you've sprayed your plot in the, in the spring, you've mowed it the one time, and now you're in the summer months. Well, you wanna to continue to do some weed control. And again, every food plot is different, but I mow sometimes three, four times throughout the summer. And there's several different reasons I'll do this, but the main is it's gonna help that food plot germinate, it's gonna spread those seeds, and it's gonna help that plot come in more lush and be all clover and chicory. So mowing is a great method. And let's talk about when you wanna mow. And I look at a food plot and I look at a, at a perennial plot like clover, and I like to see when, those, those, when that flowers out and you start seeing those flowers starting to turn brown. That's when I like to get in and mow. Next thing is I will always tell you, we're talking mowing during the summer months. I always caution guys, you gotta be careful of mowing. If you're getting a lot of rain, great. If you're not and you're having a drought, do not mow that plot. I don't care if you have a lot of weeds because you can stunt the growth of that plot. So mowing in, in my opinion is the single most effective method at having great looking food plots and controlling those weeds. Um, generally for me, I only apply one application of the herbicides in the early spring and then the mowing takes care of that. 
I do hear guys that have had you know problems with weeds and they might do another application later in the summer. But for me personally, if I can get those weeds early enough in the spring, then by simply mowing throughout the summer months, I have a great looking lush uh, clover, fusion plot, whatever it is, mowing is the single best effective method at controlling those weeds in the summer months. So there it is. That's step by step what I do in the late spring and the summer months at controlling my weeds. It's fairly simple. Herbicides and mowing, two of the most effective methods at taking care of those weeds. And I get a lot of emails, comments sometimes on posts that I make and guys say, oh, your food plots don't have to look like your yard and the deer eat weeds too. And what I always say to those guys is, how long are you getting out of your perennial plots? How long are they lasting? And generally the answer is two, maybe three years. Well, I'm getting five, even six years out of my food plots. And the reason for that is because I take care of them. I'm keeping the weeds out. Because if you think about it, what do weeds do? They're gonna take over if you don't take care of them. So if you want your food plots to last you five, six years, be more lush, be more full, be more palatable to the deer, then you wanna take care of them. Herbicides and mowing, two best ways to do that. So I wanna wrap up here by thanking everybody for joining us on Field Days. We, this is the fifth video. We have two more podcasts coming with spring related topics. And we wanna remind everybody, come this fall, we have seven more podcasts and seven more videos all about food plot related topics. So again, I wanna thank you once again for joining us on Field Days.